Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you another interesting LoRa model for Quen Image Edit Plus. This LoRa allows you to relight your images using different angle and light source. To test out this LoRa model, we will be using the Nunchaku version of Quen Image Edit Plus and the Nunchaku Quen LoRa model loader. So if you don't know how to install this, I recommend you to check my previous tutorial to make things more easier. The creator of this LoRa claimed that we can change the lighting of any image and control the direction of light source, which sounds very interesting. So let's see if we manage to get proper results with this LoRa. Okay, if you head back to their uh, Hugging Face uh, link, you can see some example of uh, the capability of this uh, LoRa model. Here we have an input image and different light source. When we can observe that uh, we have some light changing according uh, to those examples. And uh, we also have a different light source direction. However, the consistency of the input image remains uh, the same. And uh, it is a very good result. Another example here where you can observe different light source and direction coming from uh, those results uh, while the consistency of the image is still preserved. So this LoRa is very uh, interesting to play with uh, using the Quen Edit Plus. And the best way to use it is uh, here to go the file and version. You can clearly see that we have uh, different uh, models starting with the LoRa model. We have an ancient version which has six days from now and we have an updated version that was uh, uploaded recently. They have practically the same weight. However, I recommend you to use uh, the second version which has more data training. And I am pretty sure that in the upcoming days we will have uh, another version that will uh, get more accurate results uh, with easy usage. Make sure to download this LoRa file. You can also download the workflow here. Then what you can do is Go to a ComfyUI root folder, enter model, go to LoRa, and place your model here. Make sure to rename it quantummultilight.safe sensor. This way you will be able to find it more easily since we have a Chinese version. After that, all you have to do is go and use uh, the provided work. Okay, if you open up this workflow, you can clearly see that we have uh, some Chinese subgroup and uh, it is uh, not very complex uh, to understand. Since here we have uh, two input image, one for the reference image that we want uh, to change the light source, and the second image, it will be for the light source the direction and the path. Okay, next we have the load clip loader and the load VAE, which are uh, very obvious models uh, if, you are, uh, if you are using uh, coin uh, models. So it will be easy for you to find out this, those models. Then we have the main model here for Quen Image Edit. The creator is using the load diffusion models, so it is an FPA version. Then we have here uh, the LoRa model uh, notes where you, you need to upload the, your uh, LoRa model. Let's type in Quen Multi Light. And lastly, he used the Quen Image Lightning 8 step in order to decrease the steps for the image generation. So if you take a closer look to the key sampler, you can see that he is using 8 steps and CFG of 1. All the models are plugged into this model sampling aura and CFG norm to get more accurate results. After that, we have our VAE decode, the image comparer, and the preview image of uh, our results. And the most interesting part here is the text encode, where uh, you can uh, per where you can observe that we are using Chinese for prompting. And this uh, sentence is uh, translated to use the brightness map of Figure Two to relight the Figure One, or uh, you can also use image. The light source comes from the front. And in order to specify the direction of the light source, you need to use the brackets here. In order to change the light direction, you can always try to change the, the, the direction from here. You can use from the above, from the front, from the right, from the left, etc. And the best way to use it is here we have some uh, keywords which are related to the direction of the light. The prompt only needs to be modified by changing the direction of the light source as it is claimed uh, for the others within the brackets. For example, the current prompt is light source is from the front. So we should be able to get the light source from front using uh, this workflow. All you have to do here is load your light source image, for example, this one. Then we need to load another image as a reference, for example, this one. And all we have to do once we have all the necessary model is clicking run. So it is a practically simple workflow that will allow you to edit your uh, images based on light uh, direction. Okay, and based on this workflow, I decided to create a custom workflow for uh, practically low VRM users. And uh, the main core of this workflow is it is using a Nunchaku Coin Image Edit Plus model and a Nunchaku Coin Image LoRa loader. This way, you will be able to run your model more smoothly in, and in short amount of time. 
So let's uh, bring, uh, let's take a closer look at this workflow together. Here we have the loading model. Make sure to use the non when image edit plus. I'm using a four steps version as always. Here, make sure to load your multi light uh, LoRa model. As for the other models, it is basically default models. I'm also using uh, another key sampler without LoRa in order for you to get uh, a comparison between the, the two images. So, this one is using directly LoRa model, and uh, with these nodes, we are using only a base model. So, you can uh, disable that if you don't want uh, to waste your time. The next step is going to be loading your image. Make sure to load your reference image. It is uh, very easy here. And the uh, reference light source. Once it is done, the, those nodes are gonna upscale uh, our uh, both images into one megapixel. Then this one is gonna be uh, encoded, the ones with the reference uh, face, in order to be used for the text encode image edit plus. So this one is gonna be the image one. And the second is gonna be this uh, image two. As for the key sampler here, you can clearly see that we have two, two samplers. The first one is with LoRa. We are using uh, steps of uh, four. You can, of course, use the step of eight. It depends on uh, the accuracy of your results. And for the second key sampler, it is, uh, it is uh, also using the same uh, positive and negative prompt at the exception of the, uh, the model. Here we are using only the base model compared to, uh, with this one. Okay. The step three is going to be prompting. And as you can see, we are using a uh, positive and a negative prompt. And here I add uh, this CR prompt list, which allows you to use uh, different prompt without uh, bothering yourself with uh, inputting every prompt separately. So using this note, I added six prompt here. And uh, each prompt is uh, practically different. And the main difference remain in the light source direction. As you can see here, I regrouped every uh, necessary prompt in Chinese and I included the, the, some keywords in order for you to understand it more. Here we have, for example, the, uh, the light source is coming from the front. Here we have a left front. Here we also have a left direction, a left rear, and etc. However, during my test, I saw that uh, practically not all of the prompt uh, are working, at the exception of those one. And you also need to change the LoRa string in some examples. So if you need to focus on uh, one specific direction, you can uh, use directly uh, those settings. For example, here, when we wanted the light source coming from the above, all you have to do is copy, then go here, make sure to disable that, paste your prompt here, and change the LoRa string with the value between uh, 1.25 and 1.5. This way, you will be able to get uh, your results more properly. But for, for now, let's leave this uh, CR prompt list uh, connected. The same goes for the other. It depends on what you need exactly. Uh, so uh, make sure to use the right prompt and also the, the right LoRa strings in order to get a proper results. Since this LoRa model is still uh, under development, so it should be fixed uh, for the upcoming updates. Uh, we should have all direction uh, of light source working properly. Okay. Here, I wanted to show you some results that I get using this uh, workflow. And you can clearly see the main difference here. I added the light source coming from the front using this light source as an image. And here what I get. This is the first results. And you can clearly see that it managed to keep the consistency of the image with some position shift here. We have a small position shift. If you take a closer look here, for example, the fingers is slightly shifted upward. The same goes for the face and uh, all other details. However, we still have uh, a good consistency with the light source coming from the front. So using this workflow, you can uh, run multiple uh, tests in order to see if the model works properly or not. Here, I started from the front. Then I asked for the left. Then we asked it for the right. Here, it managed to create uh, the light uh, perfectly. The same goes here at the exception of uh, some uh, uh, light brightness here and the main problem uh, I noticed that it uh, not always created the light coming from above and uh, below and lastly I asked for light from rare and it managed to create it you can clearly see that the light source is behind the lady's head so for this uh, updating model practically uh, most of the, the direction uh, of light source are respected at the exception of uh, the above and the below direction so i think uh, maybe it is related to the steps used for this uh, trial so let's try to increase the steps to eight and do another test with another image
okay let's take this image as a reference and i will try to do some tests using this image okay okay here we have the results of our second trial and you can clearly see that we have different uh, images starting with, with this one here we have a complete relight of the image and it looks like it is coming from the front for the second image we ask the left direction and as you can see it is really uh, doing the job as the light source is coming from the left and we have some shadows here the next example is uh, the right direction and it did not uh, succeed to create this light uh, source emission since we have the shadow is still coming uh, on the right direction uh, as it should be coming pointing toward the, the left direction however for the above uh, results here we managed to get a proper results this time since the light is come uh, from the above and you can clearly see the intensity here for the below it did not succeed too as we get this uh, weird result and from the rear it did not also succeed to create a good proper results okay there are multiple parameters that allows us to fix uh, those problems like the seed the steps and also the lower strength however i found out a very quick and helpful solution is by changing the nunchaku Quen uh, image edit model where a new version was released that focus on light rendering and it has more prompt adherence uh, i am using this uh, new version right now it is svdq and int4 uh, eight step lightning version once i uploaded this model and i run uh, the workflow again it managed to solve all my problem without any other issues it fixes even uh, all direction uh, light blending and uh, it was perfectly fine i did not have to change any lora strength or uh, to try to play with the seed and the steps so keep that in mind the next time when you want uh, to try a LoRa using a Nunchaku version make sure to select the right version otherwise you can also use the GGUF uh, version or the FP8 version by replacing the model's notes it will also work fine for you okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my work and ask me for additional help thank you